again this morning from St. Paul Pentecostal Holy Church. Hallelujah. November the 1st, y'all. This year is rolling right along. Hallelujah. I said from the beginning, we we're probably at the middle part of what we're doing live. I said 2020 is going to hump that. Hallelujah. And, and it's not done yet. But I said earlier, though, that God has still been good to us. And with that, we're going to give my hand clap of praise right there. Hallelujah. 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 God is so good. I know that we're trying to get used to this, this pandemic and trying to get used to the changes, the masks, all this stuff. Trust me. I'm like you. I hate wearing that mask, but hey, you got to do what you got to do. Hallelujah. You know, that you go out to these stores and people don't want to pay attention to, you know, they don't want to obey the laws. And, you know, at first I used to say it was just one race, but now you got all races that just want to be hard hit. But, hey, but but like I said, we got to do what we got to do. Amen? Because, see, even through this pandemic, y'all, God has shown me that this is a test of our obedience. This is a test. This is a test. You know, we claim that, that, that we love God and, and, we, and we want to obey His will. You know, uh, I've heard Minister uh, Lenard say the other night when he went live for his, for his church, said, sometimes you got to be in a place of being uncomfortable. Come on, somebody. Sometimes you got to be in a place to be uncomfortable. So that way God can put you in a position that you can get back what in his will to be more comfortable in his will. Because see, in, even in his will, you know, that's going to be some times you're going to have to get uncomfortable. To help somebody else to be what come. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So with that being said and done, we just want to say again, thank God. And y'all coming. Thank God for Minister King. Thank you. Barna for coming out for the first time. Welcome back home. Hallelujah. Like I can see this pandemic has, has changed a lot of the way we do things. But God is so good. So while I'm speaking, I'm actually sure coming up. As we get ready for a congregational song, hallelujah, and after that, I'm going to ask uh, if Sister Tiffany, she don't mind with a scripture, and Minister King, if you don't mind with the prayer, all right? So that, uh, let's have church, y'all. Y'all ready to have church? Yeah. Come on, let's have church. All right,
I'll be ready for Philippians 4, 1 through 8. Therefore, my brethren, dearly beloved, and long for my joy and crown, so stand fast in the Lord, my dearly beloved. I beseech you, Eudas, and beseech Syntyche, that they be of the same mind in the Lord. And I entreat thee also, true yoke fellow, help those women which labored with me in the gospel, with Clement also, and with other my fellow laborers, whose names are in the book of life. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. Let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Finally, brother, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. God, we come before you again this morning, Lord, with a humble and thankful heart. Lord, we just want to say thank you. Thank you. For allowing us to be back in your holy place, God. God, we look up to you this morning, oh God, for all the help that we need. We know that you're the only one that can help us in a time like this. God, we ask you to look on the sick and the flicks and everywhere. Heal and deliver, oh God. Set free in the mighty name of Jesus. Touch those, oh God, that we heard about this morning, oh God. We do. Oh, God, Lord, we ask you to heal them right now, God. Lord, we know you have the power to do it, sit in that the of all. We can even ask something. Have your way, Jesus. Oh, God, you did it before, oh, God, and we know you can do it again. We thank you so much, oh, God, that you brought our wife through. Oh, God, Lord, you brought me through many times, oh, God. Lord, and I know it wasn't for your grace, I wouldn't be standing here this morning. God, because of your grace and your mercy, God, you helped us, oh, God. You brought us this far. And I don't think you brought us this far. You got to be thanking me. For your word said, I'll never leave you. Not will I forsake you. I'll be with you always. Even up to the end of the world. Oh God, we thank you. God, for being a great God. A God that's able, oh God. A God that has all power in your hands. God that can deliver and will deliver. Oh God, on time. Oh God, he's never late. God, we thank you right now. God, have your way in your service today. Bless our mission, oh God, Lord, and need to bring forth the word to us. Oh God, and touch every heart and mind, oh God, Lord, have us be successful to your word. God, we thank you, we praise you for all things. Oh God, we ever keep our hearts and minds stayed on you, Lord, that you be able to keep us in the perfect peace. Even though the world's in trouble, God, but we look to you, oh God, that's able. Good, Lord, we'll praise you and thank you right now. These are all blessings we ask in the mighty and holy master's name of your son, Jesus. God, we thank you. Amen. 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 Thank God. Thank God for the king. Hallelujah. God is so good. Hallelujah. God is good. I say he's good. Yes. He's good. I say time and time again, he didn't have to do it, but he did. Yes. Hallelujah. We could have been six feet up, but thank God that we was able to see what a whole other day. You might have a little aches and pains. You might not be feeling too well today. But through it all, what? He still. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank God for Tiffany, for the scripture, and for the king, for the prayer. Again, I just thank God for those that decided to make it out, those that are still watching this broadcast. Again, I hope some may be saved, some, or done that may touch somebody's soul this morning. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. We're not here for no fall fast to show. Come on. We're not here for no fall fast to show. Hallelujah. But we're here for one purpose only, and that is to lift up the name of the Most High God. Hallelujah. And that's the Son, Jesus Christ. Again, we thank God for everybody here. 
And without further ado, we're going to bring up this awesome praise team, y'all. For those who've been watching, I'm telling you, this praise team been put down the house. Hallelujah. And, and after the two selections of the praise team, we're going to bring up our illustrious pastor, which he needs no introduction. And that is our pastor, Bishop Daniel Preston. We're going to continue to pray for him, y'all. Hallelujah. God has brought him a mighty, mighty long way. Hallelujah. That's a walking testimony right there, y'all. We got many testimonies in him. Many. I don't want to, you know, just focus on him, but there's many testimonies in this church. So without further ado, come on here, praise team. And after that, we're going to get a word from my pastor, Bishop McDaniel Preston. Continue, continue. Pray for his strength and pray for this praise team. Come on, y'all. Thank you, God. I don't know about you, We come for worship today. Hallelujah. We come to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We come to honor God today for what he's done. Hallelujah. For who he is. Hallelujah. We come to no other purpose than to praise his holy name. Hallelujah. For he is good. And his mercy is everlasting. Hallelujah. One, one scripture says, Elijah prayed. Hallelujah. That there will be no rain.
Lord. I woke up this morning. That's usually when God speaks to me. It's like I've been, I guess because of the pandemic and all that, it looks like I've been in a, you know, in a standstill. Hallelujah. And I feel like I was in the water. You know, in the water, they tell you if you can't swim, just back scrub. Just slap the water. Keep back scrubbing. Hallelujah. 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 Just lay there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To somebody, reach out. Or you can get to a place where you can just reach out to something. We need to reach out to something. I'm not going back. Today, I feel like moving ahead. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
uh, Brother Brian, his companion, my companion, Brother and Sister Ross, Mother Petra, Sister Roman, Brother King, and Amen, music, Amen, department, team, praise team, and the organist, etc. Amen, for what God has done, for well, he has done great things, where uh, I'm glad. Amen. I'm going to be talking about seeking God. And, and it's old cliche is that ever there was a time we needed God. We need him now. Amen. Sure do need him now. We need the Lord. Psalms 63 verses 1 through out. Hello on heaven. It's a short psalm. If you can, I will. shall be satisfied mm -hmm. as with morrow and fasting. Mm -hmm. And my mouth shall praise thee with joyful lips. When I remember thee upon my bed and meditate on thee in the night watches, mm -hmm. because thou hast been my help, therefore in the shadows of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul followeth hard after thee, thy right hand upon me. But those that seek my soul to destroy it shall go into the lower parts of the earth. They shall fall by the sword. They shall be a portion for foxes. But the king shall rejoice in God. Everyone that sweareth by him shall glory. But the mouth of them that speak lies shall be stopped. Amen. And let the church say amen. 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 Seeking God. Seeking God. One thing David said that I have desired for the Lord, and that will I seek after, that I might dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. As David wrote, he said, God, you are my God. You are my God. Can you say that? Amen. You don't have to say it verbally. But in your heart and your mind, do you claim God? God loves to be honored and to be praised. Yes. He loves to be reverenced. Amen. If you remember the woman, amen, that was a Gentile and she approached the Lord. And he said, you are Lord. And she reverenced him as God. Mm -hmm. Amen. As God. Now, at that time, understand, she was a Gentile. And amen. In some ways, someone would say she had no right. Mm -hmm. But let me say, in spite of the fact that she didn't, in some people's eyesight, had rights. She had rights that she knew and understand mm -hmm. that existed. Yeah. Amen. Now we all are Christians today. Yeah. My God. My God. Amen. Amen. You might be a little slow, weak, this, yeah. that, and the other. Right. But we'll say, are we saved? Yeah. Yeah. Love God. Yeah. Understanding God. Amen. Loving him, walking in loving and doing this, doing the other. We are all human. We all make mistakes. But yet God understands us. 
And he looks beyond all our faults. And fulfills and see our needs. The day David said, you are my God. And the word says, thou shalt have no other God before me. Amen. Earnestly, I seek you. Earnestly, I seek you. As David cried out to him, the word say God drew what? Near. To him. Amen. God drew near to this amen weary King David. I believe, St. Paul, if we cry to God in a time like this, God will hear, answer, and come near and answer our cry, our faith. <laughs> I believe it. I, I'm just crazy or dumb enough. Amen. And foolish enough to believe every word he said. I believe it. Why? Because he has answered many of my prayers. And I don't feel no waste time. I've come too far. Where I started from. Nobody ever told me that the way was going to be easy. And I don't believe he will have brought us this cut far to leave us. Somebody picked it up and said we've come a long way. And we got a long ways to go. Amen. The king was spiritually thirsty for God. Are you thirsty for God? Uh, do you have any need for God? The daughter read, amen, 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 amen. God will supply our every need. Amen. Amen. God will supply our every need. He had a deep spiritual, amen, thirst for God. And that thirst he had only God. Only God could fulfill. As I studied, I was thinking of, amen, some of the beverages I drink. And I love my wife there, and she stays on me by drinking water. Now, I admit and confess right now that I don't drink water like I should. Amen. And somebody even said, or a lot of people said they don't even like water. But you put some good old sweet lemonade and tea and I do it separate and together on a farmer any anyway, you give it to me, I love it. And I'll drink that and let water set that. But let me say this, beloved, there is a lot of things in this world that we can long and we can have, but nothing takes the place of Jesus. Amen. You can have this whole round world. But give me Jesus. I'll take Jesus for mine. Amen. Amen. He's my rock. In a worry land. He's my shelter. In the time of a storm. Only he satisfies. Joy he supplies. Life would be worthless without him. Everything in Jesus, I find. One thing the king here remembered where he met God. The, the king remembered he met God in his what? Sanctuary. Amen. In his what? Meeting place. We're in his sanctuary. And this is what? Our meeting place for God. What did he do? He promised <laughs> that he would meet us here. Come on. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving. 
Get into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. And one writer or somebody declared that I will lift up my holy hands unto God without wrath and without doubt. Amen. Anybody need a blessing from God? Oh, I believe we could do just a little bit better than that. You must have had something <laughs> holding you down there. Hallelujah, anyhow. Never, never, never let your troubles get to that. And when your troubles, they are many, but when your troubles come your way, hold your head up. High and say, what are you going to say? Hallelujah. Anyhow. Anyhow. Yes. I will bless the Lord at all times. At all times. Yes. And his praises. His praises. Yes. Oh, magnify the Lord for me. Hallelujah. And let us exalt his name together. Yes. It is the belief that the psalmist had sometime done it alone. But then there was a time when he wanted others to help him. And I need him. I need you. I need help. Help me to praise him. Help me to give him some praise. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exhort his name to come. Yes. He's worthy. Oh, Lord, Lord, God, help us say it. He's worthy. Yes. He's worthy. Yes. The sermon that experienced his all conquering love. And praising him day after day. Yes. Yes. Come on. Amen. Finding true sex satisfaction in him as like none other can or will satisfy. Thank you. Come on. Oh, taste and see. Uh -huh. oh, you, good? <laughs> you know where I'm going. Yeah. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Amen. Somebody said, uh, one writer said he's sweeter. Yes. Enjoy, enjoying a full and satisfied meal is one of the things that we enjoy. And even in the pandemic, amen, situations, they go to talking about indoors, closing the indoors because of the weather. I need men suspecting that. Uh, not just what yesterday was Halloween, but next what it be Thanksgiving. Yes, yes. And will it be safe? <laughs> yes, yes. But I tell you one thing, if you can't get together with your family, you can get together with God. Amen. Amen. <laughs> every doing amen, doing every night, he contemplated God's greatness. And that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Yeah. I know things are different. Uh -huh. It's to do what way, this, that, or the other. But sometimes we just need to contemplate. Yes. When you think of this goodness, oh. when I think, yeah. and I know uh, what's the name, Brother Kevin back there, he probably don't want to get in or out of order. <laughs> And I love him. <laughs> Cause I love to hear him because it blesses my soul. When I think oh of the goodness of Jesus. Yes. And oh, come on, help me sing. He's my everything. Yes. Jesus is my everything. Yes. Contemplating God's greatness. Recognizing his help. 
In the time of trouble, he helps me. He leads me. He guides me. He orders my steps. The steps of a good man. Excuse me, please. Steps of a good man ordered by the Lord. And we have his protection. We have his lead. And he has his God. Today the Holy Spirit convicts us to earnestly contend and seek God as we cling to him in power, with power, in love, constraining and pressing, pushing forward. Notice I've been saying forward a lot. I thought about Sister Phyllis was the first one that I ever heard. I mentioned this before. And honor to whom's under due. Amen. Paying forward. <laughs> God holds us up with his what? Strong what? Help me. It's in the book. Right hand. And I want to put emphasis on it because it's the right hand yes. that he refers to. That's where God got what? It is his power. Jesus himself is sitting at the right hand of the Father. Making what? Intercession for us. Yes. Now you don't want to get on the wrong side of God. You always want to be on the right side. That's where the power of the blessings and everything that we need positive come from, the right hand of the Father. Yeah. They say they will have to one time says, you know, you always talk about the right hand. Lord. Don't forget God got a left hand too. Amen. By the leading of the Spirit, may we always draw water. Huh? Yeah. Out of the well. And we'll join. And we'll join. Shall ye draw water out of the well? Few points, and I'm going to be out of your way. The rock, whenever the son of uh, anyone referred to the rock, that is a higher place that God is and you can be in. That is a what? Blessing, a shield, and a protection for us as humans. Human beings are disciples or whatever. Come on. Amen. 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 That was, uh, it's going to be a time. Yeah. Will come when people are going to be coming, I mean, running and jumping and pleading, going to and fro and crying to the rocks. But the rocks are going to cry no hiding place. But Jesus is our rock. Describes, it describes a place of safety in God, in his love, in his care, in his provisions. Amen. And it keeps us from turmoil. Turmoil. And now, saints, when you look at the TV and the presidential race, the turmoil is in the government of how the Republicans and the Democrats are at war with each other. Amen. They don't want to help the poor, this, that, and the other. I'm just going to hit on this and just make a point. Amen. But I tell you one thing, you better have your hope in Christ. On Christ, yes. help me say it. On Christ, On Christ. The, solid rock, the solid rock, I stand I all see. of the ground. Amen. There's authors of prophets, different ones in the Bible that I can mention. He's a rock in a worried land. He's a shelter 
in the time of the storm. We've talked about Elijah and God met and found him where? Under the Jupiter tree. Come on. And God is able and will hurt, help and visit us in many ways, in many places, in many other storms. Amen. And you're not, you know, I don't care what's going wrong. God won't let it last too long. You're not in it. You're not in trouble. You're not in financial need. You're not in any kind of strain or any worry. God can't and won't meet you there. God met him under the Jupiter tree. Also, Jonah. Amen. Jonah, what, what had disobeyed God? Found himself. Uh, God was uh, looking at him. Found him under the Jupiter tree. Now, he's mad with God because God done what he did. <laughs> God only done what he said he would do. He's up there pilot. <laughs> Come on, church. Right. Anybody remember John? Come on, church. He told him to do one thing and he done another. And because God repented and spared the city, Jonah got mad. Pilot. Come on, church. I would advise you to stay in line with God. If you want to be blessed, stay in line with God. Let him lead you. Let him guide you. Come on, church. Come on. Come on, Jonah. Was in the whale's belly. All I wish somebody would help me preach him. Amen. And you don't want to get out of order with God. You'll find yourself doing things that you shouldn't do and you'll find yourself uh, God allowed. You see, we are. Amen, amen. God will allow things to happen. They'll allow you to do things. Now, let me move on. Jesus, amen, parents took him when he was 12 years old to the temple to her pay taxes. Amen. And walked off and left him. Do you remember? And the question in the journey back home was where is Jesus? Amen. Somebody want to know where is Jesus? <laughs> Glory to God. And they couldn't find him in the crowd as they were traveling. But what did they do? They returned. And made a U-turn and went back to the temple. And there he was, what? Talking, controversing with the lawyers and the doctors. Huh? Jesus is just where you left him. In every situation, you can find him. Come on, church. Let him lead you. Let him guide you. Amen. Earnest contend for the faith. That was once delivered unto the saints. And if it ever was a time the saints need, it God is now. If my people, the word said, if my people, which are called by my name. Yes, hallelujah. Would do what? Humble, Humble themselves. themselves. Yes. And pray. Yes. And seek my face. And what? Turn from the wicked way. Yes. And turn. Turn. I almost say dum dum. Mr. Trump. <laughs> Jesus parents found him in the temple he dwells 
who was it? Isaiah said it was a year that King Uzziah died. Yeah, yeah. I, I just want to make a little thought and I got to get out of your way. Uh -huh. It was in the year that King Uzziah died that what? I saw the Lord. Where was he? He was high and in the temple and his train his train is smoke in the house his train uh, what's, her, what's her name? Tiffany was the last one got married and when, when the bride comes, that's a train father. Yes. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. His train. But I saw the Lord. I lifted up. And his train filled the temple. Amen. Can you visualize him? And he said, I stood there and God with the word. I needed a work. Somebody needed a work. Somebody needed a touch. Somebody needed help. Somebody needed her spirit. Amen. He said, I, I stood there sinful and unrighteous. Amen. And the angel took the fire coal, took tongs and applied to me. And I heard a voice say, who will go? Or whom shall we send? And he answered, here am I. Hallelujah. 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 I'm getting old and limping now. Somebody going to have to go for us. Somebody have to stand in the gaps. Come on, church. In many homes. There's no males, but the women of the females have to stand in the gap. Somebody got to stand in the gap. Right. Who will go for me? Right. And he answered, here am I. Yeah. Send me, send me, send me, send me. Are you willing to go for him? Yeah. Are you willing to go for him? Yeah. Are you willing to face the front line? Yeah. Come on. Right. Don't be afraid. Yeah. Amen. Amen. David sinned. Amen. And his sin caused what? Hurt. Pain. He sinned when he committed adultery with Uriah's, I think, wife, Bathsheba. Is that right? Amen. And he went on as if though nothing was wrong. But Inwardly, a lot of things was happening because he reveals in Psalms, who I believe, 51, when uh, his sins was pointed out to him. Amen. Pinpointed. <laughs> Come on, church. God wants to do it for you. God wants to help you to get out of here. Your mess, your stuff, you're done. Come on, church. God will help you. God will help you. Yes, he will. Amen. And one thing I love about David, you can say what you want, but David always went to God. Amen. If you in sin and you come clean, if you confess your sins, he said, wash me. Purge me. Cleanse me. And he said, don't cast me out away from you. Come on, church. Wash me. Cleanse me. Come on, do you need it? Do you need it? I'll take Jesus. Lord, I can't make it by myself. Lord, I need your help. Lord, yeah. I can't make it by myself. Lord, God. 
me as I walk along the way. As I walk, lead me in paths of righteousness for your name's sake. You know I walk through the valleys and the shadows of death. I will feel no evil for thou art with me. The rod and the staff, they what comfort me. Thou prepared the table before me in the what presence of my enemy. Thou anointed my head with oil. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Goodness and mercy. Goodness and mercy. Somebody help me. Goodness and mercy. I feel like going on goodness and mercy. One on the right, one on the left, one in front, one behind. Goodness. 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 One thing. Have I desired that I will seek out? I need you, Lord. I need your power. I need your strength. I need joy. For with joy, can I draw one out of the will of salvation? Wine can't do it. Yeah. Amen. And I, I looked at TV the other day. I looked at a lot of TV like most of us. And they, they were saying this company got a new, you know, line of stuff. Somebody's going to try it, but I need to try Jesus. Right. Kill me. A little more Jesus. <laughs> Give me a little more Jesus. Give me. Have any of you ever heard of the homestead lemonade from Crows or whatever? Anybody had that? That's something the best you can buy. But I know something better. Bo right. Brian, you're going to have to take this mic. Give me a little bit of All right. All right. Amen. Father, we thank you for you, your power and your spirit, the visitation of your holy presence. Amen. We thank you for all that is under the sun of my voice. I pray that as this go out and read your land, that it will touch and bless and be a blessing. Amen. God, you are our God early and always. We endeavor never ever to fail to seek thee. Amen. Lead us, Lord. Lead us on to higher heights and to deeper depths. And in, in the midst of all our storms, even as you was with this in the storm of Paul when they had shipwreck. Amen. Not a soul was lost. We know and we live ever. Amen. Ever led by you and submit ourselves to you and the leading of yours will be safe. We'll find our safe and safety. In Jesus' name we do pray and we thank you. Thank you. Amen.
Whatever name is in somebody's spirit, oh God, that needs prayer right now, oh God. Lord Jesus, I know that you have the, the windows of heaven open and you have a listening ear, oh God. And Father, we are ready to leave this place, but not from your presence. Bless us, oh God. Keep the circle unbroken, oh God. Bless each other one as, as they travel on, on their separate ways until we meet again. For us in Jesus' name, we pray. Everybody say amen. Amen. Amen again. Amen. One more time, Holy Spirit. Amen. And we're out.